टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज ए प्रैक्टिकल प्रोटोकॉल ऑफ टेरडोफाइट्स एम ऑफ टूडेज प्रैक्टिकल इज स्टडी ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स ऑफ द जीनस लाइकोपोडियम लाइकोपोडियम इट इज द टेरडोफाइटिक प्लांट लेट अस सी द डिटेल्स ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल इज वी नीड द म्यूजियम स्पेसिमन ऑफ लाइकोपोडियम or we can uh, if you, if the material is available then we can observe the material we need slide cover slip blade saffronin brush blotting paper needle and the microscope we have to observe the external features of the given specimen lycopodium with the help of magnifying lens and we have to note all the details in observation what we have to write about the lycopodium is the external features we have to write external morphology of the lycopodium the genus lycopodium is commonly called as club moss which is distributed throughout the world and the plants grow on land as well as on the branches of large trees the plants which grow on land it is a terrestrial habit and when the plants grow on the branches of large trees that is a epiphytic habit the plant consists of highly branched creeping rhizome and upright aerial branches the branching in lycopodium is dicotomous the aerial branches are thickly enveloped by minute sessile leaves which are spirally arranged sessile means stalkless leaves leaves is having no stalk petiole is absent okay next the foliage leaves are with entire margin the foliage leaves may have broad base and narrow tip with uh, unbranched incomplete veil the lower surface of the stem bears adventitious roots which are supportive in nature the external morphology of sporophylls resemble the foliage leaves but is smaller in size with dentate margin the strobilus is formed at the terminal position of the branches strobilus is also known as cone each strobilus that consists of cluster of compactly arranged sporophylls there are only one type of spores are produced in all sporangia hence it is a lycopodium is a homosporous homo means similar because it produces a similar type of spores the genus lycopodium bears small tuberous outgrowths especially on the rhizome which are called as bulbils the bulbils are the vegetatively propagating bodies the growth of the plant takes place by the group of activity dividing actively dividing cells which are situated at the apical region of the stem these cells are uh, known as meristematic cells which divide uh, repeatedly next this is the classification of lycopodium to the right side photograph is shown and in different species different types of leaf arrangement occurs which has been shown here in the photograph in classification division is pteridophyta sub division sub division is lycopsida order lycopodials family lycopodiaceae genus is lycopodium